Let's dive into another powerful feature Next.js offers for organizing our projects, route groups. This feature lets us logically organize our routes and project files without impacting the URL structure. It is also worth noting that route groups are actually the only way to share a layout between routes without affecting the URL. Let's see route groups in action by implementing some authentication routes. We will build routes for register, login, and forgot password. First, head over to your app folder and create three folders. Register, login, and forgot password. In each folder, we will define a page.tsx file with a simple React component with a heading. So register page.tsx, export default function register, which returns an h1 tag register. Copy page.tsx from register folder, paste it in the login folder, and change register to login. Similarly, paste page.tsx in forgot password and change component name to forgot password. In the browser, visiting localhost 3000 slash register shows register slash login shows login and slash forgot password shows forgot password. Now this works, but there is a problem. Our authentication routes are scattered throughout the app folder. While this might be fine when you're working solo and know all the authentication routes, it does become challenging in a team environment. Let's improve the developer experience by grouping related routes together. We can do this by creating an auth folder to house all our authentication related routes. Let's try it. Create an auth folder inside the app directory and move the register, login, and forgot password folders inside it. So register, move it inside auth, update imports, move login inside auth, update imports, and move forgot password inside auth, update imports, and save the changes. The project structure looks much cleaner now, right? But if you check your browser, you will notice the routes are broken. Slash register, login, and forgot password all return 404. This happens because Next.js automatically maps nested folders to URL paths. So now we have auth slash register, auth slash login, and auth slash forgot password. While this URL structure might work for auth routes, it might not be ideal for other groups like marketing or analytics. This is where route groups come in handy. To create a route group, we simply wrap the folder name in parentheses. So rename auth folder, add parentheses, and auth inside it. This tells Next.js to treat this folder as an organizational tool only, excluding it from the URL path. If you have trouble renaming the folder, stop the dev server with Control C, rename the folder, and restart the server with npm run dev. Check your browser again, localhost 3000 slash register. We see register page slash login, login page, and forgot password. We see the forgot password page. But now our code is neatly organized. And if you need more organization, you can even nest route groups within each other. That wraps up our exploration of routing with pages in the app router. Up next, we will explore layouts in detail. Supporting the channel is free. Please like and subscribe. It helps a lot.